Hello everyone, this is uh, Sheldon Reyes coming to you from Sky 2025 in Washington DC. I'm really privileged to be with the co-editors of the TER book for Sky. Um, I'll start with you, uh, Jason. Uh, where this idea came from and uh, how did it start? Well, this is uh, a book on transcatheter edge-to-edge -edge repair for the tricuspid valve. And, you know, we've been doing mitral uh, tier, as it's called, for, you know, well over a decade now. and and. Uh, tricuspid tier was uh, FDA approved with the triclip system about a year ago. Yeah. And so Anita and I felt it would be great to, to have a resource for physicians who are currently doing tier or new users to, to have a nice review of how to select patients and, and really do the procedure and optimize the outcomes. So, so Anita, now the idea came and then uh, how much support is this guy offered to get this uh, project launched? Yeah, so I think one of the things to remember is that Jason and I also did a mitral tier mm -hmm. ebook as well. And so we'd done this before, a few years ago. And so we got a lot of support from Sky in the beginning um, for the mitral tier book. We'd work with the team. And so this was another opportunity to work with the team again. And they helped us through um, with a medical writer, with a graphic designer, for the illustrations. Really, it's a beautiful piece of work. Absolutely. Now, question to you about... Um, you create a roadmap for the first project, and this is kind of replication with different style. Uh, any challenges from authors or uh, writing chapters on putting the project together? Right. I mean, so the mitral valve has two leaflets and the tricuspid valve has three leaflets. So we do the math. It's like that much more complicated. So the, the mitral book was about 200 pages long, and this is about 300 pages long. Be and that reflects the complexity of, of the valve and some of the techniques. Uh, I mean, the fundamental principles are the same, but there's there's certainly more nuance to the tricuspid valve. So Anita, this is uh, an e-book, right? So it's editable and it can be updated. Correct. Yes. So one of the things Jason and I were just talking about is um, the amazing thing about the format is this ability to update it in real time, yes. to add cases. We're actually going to do an update for the Mitral, probably both with new generations of devices coming out, perhaps new um, guideline recommendations. We did also add an imaging editor. So we moved from two to three. We also added an imaging editor because Tricuspid also has the increased complexity associated with imaging. So yeah, I think that's the other difference. Yeah, and as you said, there's different iteration of devices coming out in the market. So this uh, field evolving quickly. By the time the book is published, there's at least few devices coming up. Right, and people don't necessarily buy textbooks anymore. So the nice thing about this format is they can download a PDF, they can look at it on their phones if they want to. It's, it's free. Reference. And it's 100 free. 100% free. It's free to Sky members. So I think that's an amazing resource for fellows, anyone who's getting into the space. So structural is is expanding. So what did you think is, in your, in your perspective, what would be the next book that Sky should work on? Well, I know they've they've got um, books on vascular access and 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 such as that. But um, I think to to warrant a book, a, a procedure has to be you know uh, adopted by uh, a significant number of physicians, and there has to be a, a clinical need for that that particular procedure. Uh, we've we've chosen to focus on this, but certainly there are other technologies like replacement that that may be emerging that would deserve a book. Yeah. So my question why I'm bringing this up because uh, is this something because you are part of a council or committee that's why you keep working together or it was kind of somebody completely random came up this idea and able to execute the plan? I mean I think we came up with this idea uh, Jason and I and, and went to Sky with it and asked them we'd seen the I think you'd seen the vascular access book yeah. we were trying to talking through how we wanted to do this project and then we approached Sky with this idea for the mitral. And then once the mitral was done and tricuspid got approved, I went back to Jason and said, we should do a tricuspid now. Yep. Right. And the aortic was left alone because everyone knows yeah. how it's doing. <laughs> well, everybody knows how to do tavern. So. <laughs> uh, last comment about, um, any comment on the ice? During that, during that imaging, you mentioned there's an imaging aspect of it. Uh, did you talk about ice or something we'll be considering in the future? Yeah, I mean, there's a whole chapter dedicated to intracardiac echo. And, and the nice thing about this format is, is on the online version, all of the videos are playing okay, and, and looping. So you have all of the examples of the ice capabilities, including this multi-planar reconstruction and, and really how to slice the valve to get the views you need. So um, I, I think that's one of the stronger chapters in the book um, and definitely something very new. Yeah, yeah.
Liz, I'm asking ICE because ICE is kind of 3D and 4D is becoming evolving more, but um, lack of practitioner and kind of um, hands-on. Yeah, I mean, we have an help. excellent chapter on ICE in the book, so um, have a look. So this is available on iPad and Android, sorry, Android and, and Apple products? Any web, any, any web browser, browser. You, it's, it's viewable on any web browser. Um, or you can download a PDF, PDF. And, and all you have to do is log into the SCA web website and, and anyone can download it anywhere over the world. Okay, so we'll put the link for the audience in the description, so yeah. you but you have to be a Sky member, right? I don't think you have to be a Sky member, you just have to create a login. Login. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can but I, I might, you know, it, it is, it is public domain type material. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you again for your hard work and thanks for updating the Myself Tier uh, book and uh, for a more project coming up. Shadow Ray is coming to you from Sky 2025 scientific session and this is the Tricuspid Tier of Edinburgh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.